All right, here we go. This is uh, week six, I think it is. And this is Bobby C and I, Five Dollar Games. Let's get it. Watch out, Willie. Except for maybe you and me. Do I bother you? He's got. He, you don't want to get hit by him. He's got a wild shot. Do I bother you? A very inaccurate name. Warning. Okay, here we are, week six, after hours. Hope you guys like that little intro. Spent a little time doing that today. And Bobby C's starting out the night for the after hours games. Plan uh, three games, five bucks a piece. Loser pays up at the end of the... Uh, Entire season pays the difference of the wins and losses. So Bobby gets a uh, credit for all six of those. And coming into nut two tonight, um, I'm leading four to seven. And I'll show you the standings at the end. We did play an at will week for this. It was like a like a week 5.5, we'll call it. And I did win all three of those games. So I'm actually sitting at four to ten against Bobby C. Rick and Dan are sticking around for this. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're a bum. Come on. <laughs> You're a bum, Rock. <laughs> yeah, I was just throwing short. He's having problems centering the shoe so that uh, when I constantly... Here he goes, complaining. Oh my god, you need to shut up. Bobby C's not going to want to play you if you, all you do is complain. Bobby C will get a point here. See, so yeah, what I'm doing is I'm complaining because I didn't throw. I didn't throw good tonight in the uh, my normal six games. So. Pulled the point out of it. Yeah, those guys are fun. So the whole league, the whole leaguers. That was yours. You're shooting white. I just chin chopping this shit out of him. <laughs> Bob's like, you don't have to drop it. Even though I got a grabber. But even Buds, I'm okay because John's nice. Rich is. Rich is fine. Rich is fun. Yeah. John's good. John. 
Mike's <gasps> fine. Oh, every, everybody's fine. <laughs> everybody's fine. Everything's hunky dory. I just lost. I, all of a sudden, I lost the audio on this. Here it comes. It's coming back now. There it is. Great six pack, Bobby C. You're killing me. I honestly, I didn't really want to play tonight because I knew I played so bad that I was going to lose all that momentum I I, I gained. So we'll see what we do here, though. Sometimes, sometimes Bobby C gets uh, pretty far ahead of me, and I sort of reel him back in. See me looking at the uh, looking at the scoreboard, seeing where he's how far ahead he is. And I don't know if it, I think it's this game that I actually. I gave him three. If you go back, I gave him three before I walked down, and then when I came back, I gave him four all day. Yeah, this is this is the game because I already gave him uh, three points earlier, so I messed up the score. He's actually got uh, thirteen. That's a good shoe. Yeah, nobody watches this stuff. So, uh, just a select few. Bobby Z's on again, but I'm on again, I think. Or maybe, yep. You know, Bobby C miss, miss both of them. So seven, seven to thirteen, not not sixteen. Let's see if that uh, plays a part in the score. Horrible. <clears throat> Just leaning. Leaning too much. Shoes not getting up in the air. I went looking for the uh, the weasels. and uh, they steal my weasels. They, they put them away like they were theirs. So I don't know who did that. So now it's 16. But I'll go back down there and I'll give him another three, so it'll go to 19. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was a, yeah, maybe I didn't score it. Let's watch the next game. That's where I think I messed up. That was a good one by Bobby C. I didn't mess up the score on that one. Sorry. <clears throat> I know I messed up the score here somewhere. That was a good game. Quick game. Put me out of my misery. And I uh, continue shooting like crap. Yeah. 
that was over rotated the whole the whole uh, flip came in one and a half rotations <laughs> the funny thing is he's on he's on our team he's on our side the way it seems it's like if Bob shuts down it seems like I have the best game of my life and <laughs> he, he was doing that at the uh, Beloit Horseshoe Club in clay and they were just they were just coming in and they would they weren't really going on the stake they were just barely turning and uh, getting the get in the heel cocks just past the stake for for a uh, ringer to count as a ringer and it was the same shoe all day so that's uh, consistency <laughs> nine zip just like that it's gonna get some skunky on me I'm sure it's happened before. I'd, li I'd like to say, yeah, Bob's never skunked me, but uh, I think in his yard he has skunked me before. I went to his house and just wasn't, uh, he was on, shooting even better than he is now. Just couldn't do anything. Nice ringer. Right back at you there, Dragonfly. Got a six pack, followed it with a ringer. Didn't pull a quicksilver. Yeah, it looked like a toad. Might get three on that one. Nine nine. Nine nine. Nine nine. We got to learn to uh, paint those a little better. I don't paint them too much because uh, there are some challenges out there, but I know when, when the team that we're playing pitches challengers also, then that's when I really make sure that uh, I put some paint on them. That was not a bad shoe. Just, uh, I'm forcing it to stay straight for some quarter of time. Yeah. Came under-rotated. And you see right there, right there. I give him his three before I go down there. This is this is the game that I thought it was. So you'll see me give him. So the the score is current. Just one. 
<laughs> that is uh, what Rick is basically saying is yeah we have more stamina that's also we get better if we start a game <clears throat> and if we start it out even zero zero that gives us enough time to uh, steamroll them. So that's top ringers, I believe. One for Bobby C. So she, he should only get one point onto that 13 or 12. See, it's not four all day. I already gave him. I already gave him three. So that's where I messed up. Gave him an extra three points. That's my fault, though. I'm I was doing the scoring, not Bobby C. I think I think I was just so fuming, boiling with anger, just because it just it wasn't an easy night. The ringers weren't flowing out of my hands easily. Rick, looking at the wrong shoe, buddy. Got me excited there for a little. So that is the correct score, 13 to 10. See what we end up here. Come on. That's a lucky show on my part. So just looking at it from here, Bobby C's got one. Because <coughs> it, it almost looks like his one point is like almost touching the stake. I, th I think that was just from looking at it. It was one Bobby C. Bobby C should have gotten one. But hey, look at it this way. I already gave him three. So now he's only two up if I stole that point. And I'm doing it in purpose. All accidental. I'm an accidental idiot. <laughs> yep. So thirteen twelve is current. That's correct. Nah, Bobby C has all the right in the world to complain. That's all I've been doing is complaining. If I throw a lucky shoe, why not? Wow. I don't think that's true. I think the first one, the second one went on top of the first one. No, that one didn't go on because it didn't turn sideways. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm thinking of it. I'm not sure why. 
So 15, 13. Yeah, Dan. Dan's always egging me on. <laughs> Not laughing about it. Oh, boy. Could be the end. He's got 16 on the board. There it is, six pack. <clears throat> so in in the video, that's 21, but in actuality, it's only 19. But uh, 15, 15 to 19, and Bobby C was going first. The chances of me winning that second game. The way I'm shooting, most likely not going to happen. So even though the score was 19, Bobby did not win that game. He would have. I put a 99.9% .9 probability that he would have won that won that game anyway. So it's a good good game. He earned it. <laughs> so I thought I was doing pretty bad against Bobby C here. I think I wasn't doing too bad. Just Bobby C was doing pretty good. I was assuming that the top ringers, nobody. And there's Bobby C. He's got too close. Ringer to beat it. Come on, you cannot leave it sitting there like that. Did I get three on that one? Yep. Can't believe it. Game I'm winning. I actually have the lead in the game. No, oh, Dan and Dan and Rick are up up on that thing, up on that deck, talking goofy, doing talking about stuff they're gonna do after they retire, which. Well, I guess we all do a little, a little bit of chit chatting about that, seeing how we're uh, closing in on it. Jeez, Bob, nice, nice six pack. Yeah, we're both, all, all four of us. Dan is retired. He's uh, sitting at sixty three, so he retired already. And the rest of us are uh, a high of like fifty five. I'm fifty one. Rick's fifty. So we got we got a little ways to go to re for retirement, but close enough we can talk about it at least. Oh, not 
tight. Let's see how see what we do after this. See if I falter or if I pick it up and get this the last game in in my pocket. All right, it's a good start. Okay, I can do something with that. That's a good start for me. So now I just got to put another one on. And there we go. All right. Looks like I'm going to turn around this third game. A quick silver. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that is very short. But that guarantees me one point at least. That'll be four all day. Ooh. Maybe seven all day. And it worked. But he's right, so I can be a son of a bitch, but I know it goes both ways. There you go. You never do anything before you had eight and a half, two and a half. Three rings, three kicks, 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 three I just got to keep the pressure on him. <laughs> yeah, Bobby C's going to take care of, take advantage of that one. Oh, maybe not. And he got the all-important first throw. What in God's name is Rick and Dan talking about? Never mind. Oh, here he comes. Don't do it. He did it. <clears throat> so that put him at uh, 12 to 10 if I don't ca cap one of these. the tide had turned. 10 to 3 and now it's now I'm losing. They look like halfway decent shoes. Miss again, Bobby. I dare you. A lot of room in there for me to score, though. Oh, 
Oh, that one throwing like that. That was about a foot and a half short. Gotta take that first throw away from him. <laughs> that shoe was came in sideways. And then he throws a good one. <clears throat> There we go. That wasn't a bad shoe. It just, just seemed to be moving them over left or right. Still 40 feet and open. I don't give it to him every week. No. I have high expectations of you. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're bad at the exact opposite. All right, guys. Good night. All right. Take it easy. We have to set high expectations. <laughs> Eight four zero. Oh, I'm not. Not even my wife has high expectations. And that's basically sealing the deal. To think I had him 10 to 3. Oh. <laughs> so that is it. I want to thank you for watching me get my butt kicked. Thanks for watching. Wasn't even funny. I wasn't even in those games. Thanks for watching. I'm done. Good night. Boy, was I grumpy that night, and I want to apologize for that. Um, Bobby C. was facing the same uh, difficulties that I was, and he just he got through it, and he shot better than me. So kudos to him. And uh, I'm going to show you the list now that... Uh, gives the setting there's a one little spot in there before this six week it's called it's uh at will games and i pushed that in there that was actually the fifth week and you'll see where that is so that's the standings up until now check it out and you can see i was doing pretty good all the way up until tonight uh i had gone 10 in a row on on bobby c so that ended tonight he uh he gave it to me Great job, Bobby C. And thanks for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And that at will, um, those 12 games will be actually at the end of the season since they didn't come into play. We did play them. I do have the matches. But uh, since they didn't uh, be, they weren't counted in our total scores. I will put those at the end just as sort of like a bonus if you guys want to see those. So thanks for watching.